Hello and welcome to Flash Animation, long-awaited Chapter 7, uh, or excuse me, uh, Chapter 5, Lesson 7. I would have been here sooner, except Fernando took forever filling out his pass. So, the idea behind this bad boy right here is we are using what's called our the deco tool and we're using the deco tool to combine a number of things to make it do as follows so I'm actually using it I'm going to create lightning effects there's no lightning sounds right and then on top of that I'm going to then create the fire where the lightning comes down and I'm also going to create trees that are on fire as well as these particular snow effects and our deco tools have the ability to do all these things and we start off with a blank slate. So here's our blank slate here. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this deco tool that looks like this uh, pencil with little dots coming out of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the building brush. There's my building brush there. And I'm going for one, two, three, four buildings. So I just left clicking holding. Uh, 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 is it a locker hidden? Would you like to? Yes, I want to unlock and show. There we go. And then I want to choose my buildings layer. There's my buildings layer. I forgot the right, get the right layer. And then what I'm going to do is going to go to my deco option. I'm going to grab this boy and I'm going to drag it up. So there's a building. Then I'm going to drag up and there's another building. And I'm going to drag it up again and there's another building. And luckily for me, I've been to college so I can count to four. So there's one, two, three, four. So there's four buildings there. And that's what's going on. Uh, and I'm, I'm dealing with the that's kind of frame one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click frame one on the tree brush. So here's trees and here's frame one. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my deco tool right here and I'm going to change that to tree brush. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it says ginkgo trees because that's the type of trees I want. There are tons of different trees here. Uh, I'm just going to now then I left click and hold draw tree. And draw a tree. Tree, tree. I feel like that painting guy, Bob, or whatever his name is. I'm drawing pretty little trees. Um, and I'm similar to the way it looks on figure 66. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a deco effect with lightning. So I'm going to go to the lightning on number one, and I'm going to verify that animation is checked. So I want to do here, I'm going to click my deco tool and then I'm going to choose lightning brush right there's my lightning brush I want to make sure animation is checked and my lightning color is indeed white and I want to point off the stage as shown in figure 67 and I want to drag the pointer towards the tree so basically what's happening is I'm making a lightning strike and I'm starting over here and I'm dragging my lightning strike right here and then it actually makes that over a number of different things I insert a blank keyframe in the frame following the last frame of the lightning. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to insert uh, timeline blank click keyframe. So I'm getting rid of all the lightning then. Now I'm going to click frame 20, and it says, now I'm going to use my deco tool. So I'm going to go back to my deco tool here, and I'm going to make sure to make it a fire animation. And it's going to be 30 frames, meaning that fire animation is going to take place over 30 frames. I'm going to click the treetop that got struck. So I'm going to choose, click the treetop on the far left of the stage, click frame 50 on the fire layer, then insert a blank keyframe. So, <laughs> to the far left of the stage. All right, so we're going to do fire. And I want to click, it says click the treetop on the far left of the stage, click frame 50 on the fire layer then insert a blank keyframe. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm on my frame 20, right? And I'm going to go to, and it doesn't even have to be on the far left of the stage. It could be that particular one right there. Here's fire animation. I want to go here, and I want to click it. There's my fire animation. It's then going to spread that out, and it should be to about frame 50 or whatever, right at frame 50. So I want to click at frame 50, and then I want to insert timeline, and I want to insert a blank keyframe, so it blanks that out. Now I want to get my deco tool again. Here's my deco tool. And then from here, I want to choose particle system, which is basically I'm going to make it snow. I'm going to verify particle 1 and particle 2. And then I'm on white. 
and then point to the sky as shown, then click the pointer. Click frame 35. So here we go. I'm on frame 35 on the snow layer. So here's 35 on the snow layer. I want to insert a keyframe. So insert timeline keyframe. I'm right there. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and choose my particle layers. And then I want to click here. And that's going to make it snow. And then what I do is I click back on 35 again. And I want to go to my particle layer here. And I want to make sure it's the same. And I want to choose somewhere else. And it's going to make it snow again. And then I do 35. And then I choose my deco tool again. And I go back over here and I make it snow. So the way it actually works when it's all said and done is the very beginning I've got here's my lightning strike and then a fire eventually starts and the trees on fire and then it starts to snow and it kind of represents a you know a, a thing a storm moving through the actual solution looks similar to as follows dun, 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 fire starting and it snows and there you go and yours might be a little bit different because the one I did of course looks like Fire, lightning, fire, snow, stop. Okay. So as long as you have most of these uh, um, options with it and you're including all the tools necessary in the deco, you should be perfectly fine. Well, that, that concludes the use of Chapter 5, Lesson, Lesson 7, using the deco tool. We've drawn some buildings, we drew a lightning flash, we drew some trees and some fire. So if you have any particular questions, uh, there you go. Otherwise, continue with the assigned skills review project builders. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Have a very good day and we'll see you. I believe the next lesson is eight. Thank you.